in no situation like that ever in your life. But to see two of my friends, one of them dead, behind something that was really not worth it, and he not grieving over Kiana. Like, this not something that's bothering him. He don't care. Men manipulate women, but don't let no man manipulate you. Detectives in Louisiana have uncovered a deadly romantic rivalry between 18-year-old Kiana Collins and 21-year-old Stormy Kofer. But was the shooting of Kiana done out of jealousy or was it an act of self-defense? All accounts and blame fall along friendship lines. Some witnesses paint a picture of a heartless drive-by shooting, while others say this was a provoked attack where the victim had just as much blame. But one thing everyone agrees on is that Stormy Kofor fired that fatal shot. Now, the search is on for Stormy. No one knows where she is. On October 23rd, two days after the shooting, Stormy makes contact with one of her friends, Kayla Henderson. She called me. She was like, I called a lawyer so I could turn myself in. But before she could turn herself in, somebody had already told where she was. So she didn't get a chance to turn herself in. They caught her as a fugitive. Stormy is arrested without incident and charged with second degree murder. In Louisiana, second degree murder, if convicted, carries mandatory life in prison. However, it will be up to a jury to decide if Stormy's actions that day rise to the level of self-defense. We asked her attorney if he wanted to discuss a plea bargain to the lesser offense of manslaughter, but they were adamant they were not pleading guilty to anything. On September 16th, 2015, the trial of Stormy Kofer gets underway. The prosecution contends Stormy shot Kiana after a series of violent altercations, in one of which Stormy attempted to attack Kiana with a baseball bat. We talked the background of them physically fighting, uh, calling each other on the phone, threatening each other. Somebody would start jawing about Blaze this and you that. They wouldn't let it die, and that fired up Stormy. When it's their turn, the defense doesn't deny Stormy pulled the trigger that fateful day. Instead, they claim that at every turn, it was Kiana, not Stormy, who was the true aggressor. The defense was arguing that it became a self-defense type situation. To bolster her case, Stormy decides to testify. Under oath, Stormy tells the court she believed her life was in immediate danger. Stormy had said the car was surrounded and that there was a bulge in Kiana's shirt. Stormy knew Blaze carried a gun and thought he had given it to Kiana. In an effort to scare everyone away, Stormy picked up the gun in the car. She said, I never meant to kill her. But I was only trying to scare her. Still, Stormy admits picking up the gun was a mistake. Stormy, when she testified, apologized to Kiana's father. Stormy took the life of my daughter, and it was unnecessary. But I forgive her. You know, young people make mistakes. Despite her heartfelt apology, the jury wastes no time finding Stormy Kofer guilty of second-degree murder and assault with specific intent to kill. Stormy's friends and family are devastated. I feel like someone ripped my gut out. I feel really, really empty. I just don't really feel like a life sentence was the correct sentence. It was an accident, and nobody can make me believe otherwise. My heart goes out to Stormy. No matter how many years that she got, it wasn't gonna bring Kiana back. I wasn't feeling joyous because you still had this child that whole life she has to spend it in prison. So you had two lives that were lost. There's one person involved in the case who shoulders none of the blame in court. 
a man that family and friends on both sides hold personally responsible for what happened, Blaze Roberts. Blaze liked the idea of having two women fight over his affection. To me, he's a coward. He's more responsible for this situation than anybody. He said, I, I never meant for any of this to happen. Well, what were your intentions on having these girls fighting over you? And I used to tell Stormy to leave him alone. And the more I told her, the more she clenched to him. I really hate that it happened. I really wish that Keanu would have left Blades. I was just basically telling her, huh, don't fall into the trap. Pretty much that went in one end, not the other. If men start getting you to do things you know isn't right, get out of it. That's the beginning of things escalating to something terrible. When you are unclear about who you are, you can become preyed upon, unfortunately, by someone that can manipulate and control you, that can really ruin your life. They say all men want to be a woman's first love. But what if he wants to be the first love of more than one woman? To have his cake and eat it too. While the two of you fight for his affection. If that's the game he wants to run, then the only way to win is not to play.